happy Sunday. Today we're talking about week 24 of 2021. Week started on Sunday the 13th. As with most Sundays, we just sat back and relaxed. Monday after work, Jill and I went and walked the nature trails at the Valley Watermill Park just around the corner here from our house. That was really enjoyable. At one point as we were going around the corner, we noticed a family of geese, or what looked like a family of geese, walking along the street. And and I looked at Jill and I said, hey look, it's just like our family. We got They've got three kids, a mom and a dad. And then we laughed and we wondered if geese do stick together as families or not. So we got curious and we looked it up online and found out that male and female geese do do actually pair up more often than not for life and their children will stay with them for about a year before they're mature enough to go off on their own. So we learned something new there. Tuesday, that's the day that Jill got her college ID. She's so excited. She just loves school and she has so much fun learning. And of course, learning is what keeps our minds youthful. Tuesday evening, Ben had a couple of baseball games. Wasn't quite as hot that day as it was the previous weekend, but still pretty warm. I hear we're getting a bit of a cool front coming through pretty soon, so we're gonna be back down into the 80s. That'll be nice. Wednesday, I got curious about this talent that a few people have of being able to talk backwards. And I don't just mean like saying words out of order. I mean literally talk like if you took a record and played it backwards. There are some people that have either been born with or have cultivated the skill of being able to talk backwards. Destin from Smarter Every Day was able to meet with a guy, I think his name was Kurt Quinn, and just kind of test Kurt's ability. <laughs> Was never through a mabula name ya. This is bizarre, dude. I'm in the love and love with a uh, banjo on my knee. <laughs> I'm impressed. And Destin explained a bit about what sorts of things you have to learn how to do when speaking backwards. For instance, certain parts of how we speak are very difficult to reproduce in a reverse order. So things like plosives, like P, B, D, those types of sounds. To do those backwards, you have to make a sound that's not natural with your voice. And so there were little tricks that Kurt Quinn in particular had learned on how to make a plosive sound backwards. I'm not doing a very good job of explaining it, but I'll put a link down below for Dustin's video on that. On Thursday on my lunch break, I was working on a technical challenge. Farley and I are going to be working on creating some voiceovers for some of his painting video because we're finding that it's actually pretty challenging to talk and paint at the same time. That makes sense because there's parts of your brain that are hijacked by certain types of creativity. And so for painters, many of them find that while they're painting and choosing their colors and figuring out where it's going to go on the canvas and what sort of brush stroke to use, they realize that for many of them, that shuts down their verbal ability for a moment so they have to speak between moments. So Farley and I are coming up with ideas on how to do voiceovers after the fact so that while he's doing the creative parts that tend to make it difficult to talk, he's able to talk through them in voiceover. So my goal is to make sure that I've got a technical solution on how to do those voiceovers without having too much gear. I want to be able to set it up quickly at his house or have it set up at my house and he can come over and we'll work on it together. So I found one way in particular that was really helpful. In fact, I'll show it to you here. I want to have two microphones, but I want to be able to mix those separately. I found a guy online talking about this splitter type thing here. It's not a splitter where like you can have two sets of headphones and then people hear in both sides. This is a splitter that splits the left and the right channel. So on my camera, like the one I'm recording on right here, I can have each of our microphones on a separate channel so that later on in my editing software, I can mix the volumes if I need to. Because sometimes you'll have one person that's talking louder than the other and you want to be able to balance those out so that they're both about the same. Lots of solutions were out there. This one, five bucks. 
Friday morning, we had an interesting thing. I woke up that morning, I let the dogs outside, and they were outside a little longer than usual. And when they came back into the house, they smelled really, really bad. So I went out in the backyard and I noticed that the side gate had been left open. So obviously the dogs went out and they found something putrid to roll in. So they came back in the house smelling like that. I immediately put them in their crate and then I talked to Jill to find out who left the gate open last night. So by process of elimination, we realized it had to be Brian or one of his friends. So they all took responsibility for cleaning the dogs. I really don't understand why dogs love to roll in terrible, gross stuff. I, I love everything about my dogs except for that. <laughs> on Friday, I walked into the kitchen at one point and there was a squirrel sitting on the windowsill right outside the window. Our kitchen's on the second floor, so I wasn't sure how that squirrel got up there, but he was cute and he didn't seem too scared of me being on the other side of the glass from him. When I went back outside, however, to go and look at him from the outside, that's when I realized how he got up there. I guess I didn't realize that squirrels can scale brick walls. I shouldn't be surprised at that. They do it with trees and it's about the same amount of grippiness on a brick wall, but he was a cute little squirrel. Yesterday, Saturday, was Jill's birthday. Today, of course, Sunday is Father's Day. So we mixed the two of those together and we celebrated at lunch today with our whole family and some of the boys' friends, too. <laughs> well, that wraps up week 24 of 2021. Have a great week. We'll see you next week.